What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Darksiders War Mastered Edition 100% Apocalyptic Walkthrough. Grab this health chest. Uh, we're playing this on the PS4 and in this episode we are going to take on the Stygian. We are going to get some goodies. Let's make sure my gun is set and let's get going. Put our horse to good use. Alrighty, so, um, that is the Stygian, so we are going to actually get some kills, some ruin kills for that achievement, so just slash away, but don't forget to come over here and grab a soul chest, very easily missable, and let's go back to killing things. So I'm not sure if you have to kill like so many of them or if it's like timed or what. Um, but after so long, a cutscene kicks in and the Stygian will break free. Spoiler alert, I guess, but it's getting ready to happen. So I think you probably just have to kill like so many of them. There we go. Alright, so the first things first, we need to get the iron plating off his face. Thank you, Mark Hamill. Okay, so we need to get the iron plating off of his face. However, right now, he's coming after us, so we can't really... Oof. I knew that was going to happen. So there's not much we can do until he starts just walk. Like, uh, I almost said walking slithering or flying or whatever it is he's actually doing um so this is pretty much the strategy with with this thing if you saw the last video where we fought the little mini boss ouch dick uh where we fought the, the mini boss the other worm um it was perfect practice because the strategy is the same okay so now that he's doing this or she i'm not entirely sure we have to get this iron plating off of its face so we can shoot it in the mouth. So, come on, come on. And this part can be a pain, especially when you run out of, uh, I almost said carrots from, from Zelda, but it is the same principle. So especially when you run out of that. Trophy earned, river of blood for shedding 3,000 gallons of blood. Which is really weird that it would trigger now, um, but okay, I'll take it. Um, not gonna complain about that. Uh, no, ow, dang it. Ugh, alright, oh, run away, run away, run away, there we go. Ugh. So usually I have the, uh, plate off by now. But, apparently that's not the case this time around. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. And I'm out of carrots. Or dashes. I'm actually not sure what the game calls them. I call it carrots. Because I also play Zelda. And it's the exact same thing. So, um. Do, 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 do. Oh, run away. Run away, come on! Nope! Ah, oh, dang it! 
Dang it. I don't want to use my health potions. There we go. Alright. Come on. Oh, there we go. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Alright. So. Now we've got like three like little ones. Um, it may not come up yet. It may be in a minute. But. So we're going to end up running away from like three little worms oh yeah 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 and i'm not at all sure what the point of them uh is except to chase us because i've never and here they are so i've never been able to actually kill these things um they just chase us and you shoot them so I'm not really sure, except to chase us, what the point is. I don't even know if they can be killed. Um, somebody else will have to tell me that. Because, like I said, I've been playing this game. I know I've said this numerous times. I've been playing this game since it very, very first came out. And I've never, ever killed these things. So I have no idea. But, yeah. I assume since you can target them, that theoretically you can kill them. So, I don't know if it's just like a bug or, you know, what, but I've never been able to do it. So, that happens, but um, after a little bit they go away, so, yep. Oh, yeah, this is easily the most... Um, pointless part of this fight. It's like I said, they don't. I don't know if they go away. I don't. Or I don't know if you can kill them. But all right. So now we're back with the Stygian, and now we we can shoot him in the mouth, like we did with the mini boss worm, which, to my knowledge, does not have a name. And this is, yeah, it's, as you can see, there's just a lot of waiting. Come on, come on, War, come on, come on, come on, come on, dash, dash, dash. There we go. gonna do the pop out of the ground thing again. Yep, there it is. And these are really like it's only moves against you is it just knocks you knocks into you and then like it comes up out of the ground like that. So it's really not that difficult of a fight but it is kind of tedious. So even though like the dungeon is my favorite Stygian is not my favorite boss for that reason. And in case you're wondering why I dismantled War right there, or let him run off, or I'm sorry, Ruin, and let him run off, um, it was so the carrots would reset. But yeah, there we go. We got it. Alrighty. I guess there's nothing left to do but get the Stygian's heart back and to Samael. And trophy earned, Still, ashes to ashes, and that's for hearts, killing the Stygian. The power he'll get from them. I hope you know what you're doing. I, I do know what I'm doing, actually. I absolutely know what I'm doing. 
So, alright. So as usual, we return the heart to Samael and Heart of the Chosen 3 of 4. Even though there's 5 dungeons. And of course we get a life stone for killing the boss. And now where are you, Bulgrim? I think he's over this way. Yes, according to the minimap he is. But I think there's something else in here. If I remember correctly. Um I'm looking for the place to Um wait. Hmm. No. Maybe not. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm just gonna assume I'm crazy and let's go find Bulgrim. Bulgrim is not that way. Do 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 do. I mean, I guess we got some uh, distance on a ruin, but yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Do 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 do. Okay, let's go talk to Volgrim. I passed him. I do this all the time, and make our way to. Uh, stay my own. So, yes. Okay. All right. Do 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 do. And I know I've said it before, but I'm just like taking a moment to appreciate how pretty <laughs> the the uh, uh, serpent holes are. So, I just I love the colors. I love the color scheme. It just it works. I'm here for it. Oh man. Um. Do, do, do. Anyhow. So, after we talk to Samael, we're gonna go get a couple of things before we make our way to the Iron Canopy. Come here, buddy. And actually. Um. This wasn't exactly what I wanted, but. Um. Hmm. I'm debating. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Um. Yes, the ash crawling Stygian does lie dead in my wake. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Go ahead and get a couple of ruin kills, maybe, or not. And, uh, yeah. Okay. One more. Just one more. And then more. You get your tower. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young. The one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones. Those she keeps alive. And they can live a long time. Long enough to tell her thing. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. 
Now bring me the final heart. Okay, so we have one more heart to get uh, for Simio, and then we can take on Straga in the Black Tower. Soul Bridge. War can now access once dormant soul bridges. Charge ruin through their pillars to activate them. Um, as far as I know, there's only one place in the game for the soul bridge, so I don't really know why we got that fancy little thing for it. Um, and that one place is literally the way to the Iron Canopy. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah. And we will... You know what, we'll go to the dry road, because we can get, um, in here, if you just, uh, turn around, there is a wrath shard. So this is number one of three items that we can get in the serpent holes, and, yeah, wrath shard number seven. So, yippee! Um, the other two require... See, the other Wrath Shard requires the Abyssal Chain, so we'll get that after the Iron Canopy. And the other one requires the Shadow Mask, so we'll get that one after Eden. So, yeah. We will be back for those. For sure. One's a Wrath Shard and one's a Lifestone Shard. One's our final Lifestone Shard, actually. So, yeah. Um, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and go to the Dry Road. And then I'll probably just serpent hole my way to... Sounds so bad. <laughs> um, I'll probably just serpent hole my way to... Um, what's it called? The other place. Um, do, do, do. Do, Okay. What am I doing? I'm a moron. I was literally just talking about not doing that. Whoa! Okay, well, there's a good example. Like I told you before, when we first found this place, it is possible not to make it all the way. So, yeah. Be careful. Um, didn't think I was going to make it that time either. <laughs> oh, man. It's been a long couple of weeks, let me tell ya. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Um, alrighty, so, we are headed to the Ashlands, and from there, we do have a couple of things that we'll get, um, and then we will go ahead and start making our way to the Iron Canopy, or stop just before the Soul Bridge. We'll see, we'll see what kind of time we have when we get there, but, uh, yeah. So, but either way, we will start the Iron Canopy in the next episode. Alrighty. That was like a cool little landing. Like, perfect bullseye right there. I'm low-key way too proud of that. <laughs> um, so, and I'll show you, if I don't forget again, I'll show you um, a quick little glitch that... Um, I'm not going to do it now. I, I wait to use that um, until I have the Armageddon Blade. And that's just because it's easier to do it that way. But, um, yeah, I, I wish I could say I found it on my own. I did not. That was one of the things that a friend of mine pointed out to me. <laughs> I was sitting there... Um, like trying to find things to kill on ruin and my friend was watching and, and is like uh you know if you do this i'm like lies and no it, it ended up being legit so how he found it i have no idea um but give credit where credit is due so it's in this area and it's uh this well right here is the glitch so what you have to do is and i'll show you guys this and i'll you know, go over it again in the grind episode, but um, we you, you go in there, you want to kill these guys first, there's four of them and then you hop into the well, go under the water and come all the way back up 
every time you do that, it adds two of these horse guys. Um, and, but there, there is kind of like a catch-22 with it, and I'll, I'll explain that. Um, and, you know, no, I'll just tell you now, because I know somebody out there is going to try it. Um, you don't want to do more than, like, six or eight of, whoa, I thought that was going to... Um, you don't want to do more than six or eight of these guys at once, because of that, actually. Um, if you do more than that, you will break the game. <laughs> I know that, because it's happened to me multiple times. Um, I figured out that, uh, it's right there. Um, I figured out that I can do eight, and it just gets a little, like, maybe, you know, it, it gets a little iffy. Um... Six is definitely, that's not the Tremor Gauntlet. Uh, six is definitely safe. Uh, ten is also very iffy, and I do have problems with that. Uh, Wrath Shard number eight. Um, anything more than ten definitely breaks the game, and it does it on every version. It does it on Steam, it does it on Xbox, it does it on PlayStation. And, uh, yeah, so... Anyhow, so there's that, and again, I will demonstrate that in another video, but, okay, so hopping up here, there's two things up here. One is over here, it's a, um, it's an abyssal armor piece, and you have to use these, uh, little orange dots to get over there, but those are, uh, hook points for the abyssal chain, so we'll get that after the iron canopy. But we can get soldier artifact number 18, or artifact number 18, soldier number something. Um, but yeah, so we will definitely be back for that abyssal armor piece uh, after we have the abyssal chain. So I believe that's everything that we can get right now, in here anyway, right now. And... This is not what I wanted. Oh, I thought I could go through there. I should have known. Come on. See, and, that, and it gets stuck. This is like the downside of ruin. Either I'm just a moron, which is very possible, or that happens way too often. So now I'm trying to find... Where is it? I have one. There it is. <laughs> so this gap is kind of my north star in this area. Um, I don't know why, the, just the first time I played this, I kind of latched onto it and like that was it. <laughs> that was um, my... That, that was my anchor. That's where I know that's not the right spot. Um, that's how I know where I'm at in the Ashlands at any given point. Uh, especially if I'm riding around on Ruin and loot grinding and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm definitely in the wrong spot. Alright, Ruin, let's go, buddy. You need to be on this side. I went right past it. That didn't work like I wanted. Alright, um, but yeah. So, and you can see that we are going to be over there to get the Overlord Artifact as soon as we get, uh, well, once we beat the Iron Canopy. So, top this way. Oh, ba -ba -ba -bum. And, yeah. So, everybody, this is where we're going to stop. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. We will take on the Iron Canopy. Um, on your screen is my list of socials, so feel free to follow any of those if you want. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.